Martin debut, age 24 from St. Vincent. That's his uh, list day career. Look at the average there, 51, 5, 850s rather. He's a good player. He's got a double hundred in first class cricket. Playing for the Windward Islands. He's got 423 runs in their season. That was double more than any other player in his side. So comes in with some form. But he's got Rashid, he's got a slip in, and this is why Morgan goes to Rashid at this stage. Ambrose obviously would only seen Rashid on videos, and Rashid will go through his repertoire here. Oh! Starts with a wrong one, I reckon he picked that. It's a very good start from Ambrose, and a good comeback from Rashid. Oh, yeah, I think you're right, Beefy. I think he wanted to go over extra cover wide mid off bottom hand took over and in the fingertips of Joe Root it is the fingertips as well see the leaf written all over his face there that's much captain one day captain sharing the job Signal for the final power play. Rashid has one over left. Quiet power play. That uh, spell there. Three wickets fell. Oh, edged. And Butler does reasonably well. Stop the boundary, but puts down the chance. It's hard on the key with this. I think it's actually a great effort. Never easy. It's very full. short and catch. Yeah, I reckon that's a bump ball. Brilliant then, safe ball. <laughs> I reckon that's a bump ball. Does well. Plunk it at his uh, head in his hands. Well, I've got a bump ball here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's in the under part of the bat, and it looks like it's a bit of explain why he went a little bit late because he wouldn't have been expected. But, uh, anyway, it's an excellent stop. He's changed it in this over, where it was predominantly slower balls at the last over. He's gone four quickies and one out the back of the hand. It's a maiden, 195 for four. That was very good for him. He went for three fours in his last over. He was cross with himself. The best way to respond is to bowl like that, bowl a maiden. The other thing about the way West Indies have batted in this innings, because they put no pressure on England, England have not had to go to their safety valve six bowler in Joe Root. No Ben Stokes, so Owen Morgan's life should have been made harder, but actually West Indies have made it 
pretty comfortable for him. over from Rashid, he'll go through his variations, one leg spinner to start, then the slider taken down the leg side will be a wide. And he's away, he'll be away with a boundary, will, you know, Ambry is first boundary for the West Indies is a pull away for four. Nice delivery to get with you on. Waiting to get off the mark. The leg side will short. Help. The bat. 200 up for the West Indies as well. Need a cameo. At this stage usually Jason Holder has given them some depth to their batting. Hope and Amber has just given them some momentum. You'd have thought on this surface from this quick outfield and that's what, 300? We set Wasp at 3.20 going on the pitch and what happened here last time against South Africa they nearly chased down 3.30 South Africa you know it's a good surface here so you need to be pushing 300 so you set the Wasp with you. <laughs> we, we as a team set the Wasp ah! up in the air could be a similar result if Root gets there he does get there no he's put it down somehow how did he not catch that here? He looked like he'd done everything right. But they've not called for a replay. Root, you can tell from his reaction, didn't get his fingers under the ball. Let's have a look. No. Oh, a chin did as well. <laughs> the bounce, but the throw, I tell you, have a look at the throw coming in, though. Okay, that's gone down, but he gets it away. A bit of anger in the throw. Yeah, there was a chance of a run out as well. I think he didn't think about that, but he hurled it in. Just flicked the top of the stumps. And who does it go to again? Joe Root. He's in the game at the moment. He's cross with himself. End of the over, 203 for four. England.